in Puerto Rico. We are going to go to find a new beach that we've never been to today. What's the name of it? Playa Escondida. And what does that mean? Hidden beach. And but it's not, it's not hidden on the weekends, I don't think. But today's Sunday, we'll see. So we're going to go on an adventure. We are back here in the Puerto Rico house. There's a few upgrades here. We've got a dining room table and we have furniture in the living room. It's very exciting. We'll be doing, uh, well, let me know if you're interested. I'll do a crib tour if you want to see the Puerto Rico house and we'll take you around and show you what's going on here. I've been doing, uh, I've been doing updates on the progress of the construction, the remodel of the house over on my other channel, the retire mentality. So if you're interested in buying a house or seeing what the process of a remodel in Puerto Rico would be like, head over to my other channel. I'll put a link down below. But today is all about the beach because this, by the way, is the How to Beach channel. We do beach gear reviews, beach tours all throughout the Caribbean, throughout the world. We just went to Spain. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and let's go see a new beach. Not nude beach, new beach. Okay, we made it to Seven Seas Beach. It's a cool little spot. Everybody's here with their grills and their big speakers play their loud music. So, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. It's a good day to come to the beach. We're going to hike way down to the end of this beach. And then Playa Escondido is around the bend down there. But first, I saw a little uh, pincho stand. And there's a bigger, a bigger part of this beach where they rent kayaks and there's a little more commercial activities. So we're going to go check that out before we do the hike down to Playa Escondido. Okay, here, here's the other side. Just a little farther down the beach, this is where there's a couple little restaurants. And you've got some seating. You've got a big oversized chair for your Instagram posts. It's really nice. Like, the sun is nicer and there's a lot of shade. Looks like. Uh-huh. Super calm water. You got the trees more over the beach here. You can rent paddle boards and kayaks. There's a bunch of people snorkeling out there. Yeah. There's, I saw a sign that said pirate snorkeling, so you can probably rent snorkel gear here. Super calm. Very nice. We also, just so you know, there's free parking down here, but it was really crowded. Yeah. So we just went ahead and paid $4 to park in a big parking lot, and it's like a one minute walk to get to here from the $4 And it's parking. shady also. So yeah, parked nice. under a tree. So this is a cute little spot. We like it. Pasilitos de Camarones. Shrimp uh, pastries. How do you translate pastelito? In Spain, we call these empanadillas. See, si, like a small empanada. How much did they cost? Three dollars each. And how much is a medalla here? One fifty. Two dollars. Three dollars for both of them. And there's the little restaurant, Costa Mia. Uh -huh. It seems like the only one open right now here. And what else happened while you were there? Um, if you want to go to the bathroom, you have to be a client of the bar. But also, they asked me for my vaccination card, which I didn't have because I left it at home. But they said if you have a picture or a document where you show the vaccination card, then you can use the restroom. Otherwise, you can't. And also probably eat inside. Yeah. But why would you eat inside when you can have this view? I know. How about this? We got the best seat in the house. That's the first uh, place. That's the first place that we've run into the you need a vaccine card to enter it's into a place. restaurant. Mm -hmm. We read that this could be... Oh. Oh, I'm my. going out for more gin, but... Making. I had a uh, serve, serveita emergencia, <laughs> but I got three out of the four that blew away, so they saved the turtle. <laughs> yes. what, what were we talking about? We were saying that this is the only place that they have asked us for a vaccination card oh, yeah. in order to enter the place or to use the bathrooms. We went out for dinner last night, and I mean, I didn't want to use the bathroom, but we entered the restaurant without a vaccination yeah. card or I've anything. I've been to a couple of restaurants before she got here. Nobody's asked me for one either, so this oh, was the first stores. And uh, this is still the continuation of Seven Seas Beach. And we have two Instagram opportunities here that we might have to take <laughs> advantage of. They also have a bunch of these old campers, like this, with roofs built over them, that you can rent for between $25 and $50 a day, I guess, depending on the quality and age of the camper. And according to the internet. 
Uh-huh. It also says it costs between three and ten dollars to park here. Here's a better look. There's an airstream. It also says that it costs did it say between three and five? Yeah. It said that it costs between three and five dollars to park here. And we figure maybe locals is three, gringos is five, and gringos with good Spanish is four. Because we got four because Anna talked to the lady with her good Spanish. We don't know. Here's a look at my fine parking spot underneath the tree. That cost four dollars. Honda went to go ask for directions on where the trailhead for the hike is. And uh, we'll let you know where to go once you pull in here to park. But that's what the parking entrance looks like. It's purple with the big triangle on it. If you want to come here and pay four dollars or three or maybe five to park depending on the quality of your Spanish. We don't know. Maybe everybody's four dollars. Maybe because it's Sunday. Who knows? Go to the beach, all the way to the beach. Go left, all the way to the end, and you will see a little path that takes you there. But that beach... <laughs> There's a tree in the way. Hey, this tree wants to be famous. That beach... Oh, very nice. Is only to... He said, that beach is only to look because people have drowned over there, so don't go into the water. Okay. Adios. <laughs> Okay, at the end of the parking lot, there is an entrance down to the beach. This is the way to go onto the trail. There were restrooms there. How much was it to go pee? Un dollar. Un dollar. This dude is partying in his truck here. He's got his speakers on top. Maybe he was selling something. But this, dog, this beach is also dog friendly. We've seen a lot of dogs on the beach. Also, there, is, there are many gazebos, and there is a sign at the entrance that says that you can rent them for $20 a day, which I think that's what these people did for this huge party. Domingueros. Or maybe it's a birthday party. Prices are fluctuating again. At the entrance, it says $20, but the sign on the gazebo says $30. <laughs> there is a sign here that says that you cannot come here. But there are some green areas that are uh, habilitated for camping. And I read somewhere that I think you can come here for $10 a night, minimum of two nights. But I have not seen the camping area yet. Okay. And there's the ice cream man right there. The world's first coconut pine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that got I, I guess it came from there. Surely it didn't fall all the way from that tree. <laughs> okay, this is the end of the beach and the beginning of the trail. You can see around there where those kayaks are. That's where we stopped and had our pastelito. When you get down past these pine trees, the sand gets a little bit nicer, less red and less rocky. So now we shall enter into the forest. Did you say we're going to hike through mangroves? Yes. All right. What does that sign say? Ah, uh, security limit. So, no more security for us? <laughs> oh, into the jungle. Don litter. Don do this. Yeah. We'll pick it up on the way out. There are two beautiful things on this trail. This flower and this lady. Oh, <laughs> gracias. De nada. Prepare for the emerging beach shot from the jungle. It's coming, trust me. Don't click off the video. I know you have a short attention span internet. <laughs> I'm trying to get my retention rate up. So here it is. This, this trail is supposed to be about a 30 minute trail that the interwebs say it's between 25 and 40 minutes. So, here we are again. There's the kayaks for a reference point of where we had our pastelitos. We're parked over here. So we've just walked around this way. I hope we end up at the end because there's huge waves crashing on the rocks back there. Ow. I think there is a... Yeah, you can see there's waves breaking all. I don't know if you can see on this 
small DJI camera, but we'll find out when we get there. So here's the semblance of a sign. And Anna has deciphered that it means that she thinks this is the trail to Playa Colorado. Color. Yeah. Playa Colorada is here, and I think Playa Escondida is over here. We can do one or the other one first, it doesn't matter. Let's go to the far one first. Okay. That one, I think, is almost forbidden to swim. I think everybody says it's super dangerous. Yeah, everyone... That one is dangerous, but that like one is... Every single dangerous. person we told we were coming here, that's what they said. Like, don't go in the water. Mm -hmm. You also never turn the camera off when Anna finished talking, because she always has one more sentence. So what is it? I didn't, I didn't see them. There were like three of them getting into their holes right now. There's one. Well, uh -huh. I see a bunch of them out there. I think this is the biggest termite mound I've ever seen. I'm gonna go in the shop for a scale. I'm not going all the way there. Yeah, there's bugs. Just here. I don't know if you can tell, but that thing is the size of a Volkswagen. <laughs> A small Volkswagen, it's an e-car, e a smart car. <laughs> it's big. These are the mangroves on the left side of the trail. Pretty crazy looking. Just think if you had to forge a trail through here with a machete. Hmm. If you're a pirate and you just landed on these shores and you're like, we have to find fresh water. I'd be like, all right, you go first. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, there was like a red crab. He just went under this oh. tree. Most of this trail is pretty shady. Yeah, which is fantastic. And I would say that it's flip-flop approved. I agree. We're wearing our hiking shoes, but if you were just at the beach and you're like, oh man, I really want to try that hike out, but I don't have my hiking shoes, you'll be fine in your flops if you're flop experienced. This is like the enchanted forest. This is We're the end of the oh, we got a merging beach shot coming. That's my favorite. Yeah, the sand is getting softer. Emerging trash shot. I guess that's what they were dragging out. That's for the market. No. I was about to say bicycle. Long show beach. Ah, this is a nice beach. They said it could be crowded on the weekends, but this isn't too crowded. Oh. Ah, there's Fajardo over there. You can see the condos you can smell it. yeah the yeah trash. that's trash you can smell it from here so there's a cool spot so the trail comes out at the end down there and we walked all the way down here and this beach just goes on forever so this thing is huge. It looks like it goes way down around there. And there's huge waves down there. I wonder if you can surf. It's super hazy today, so there's not much of a view. But this is a great beach. You like the beach? I love it. She said I love it. Yeah, this is a cool spot. I, it's super, it's very oh. pretty. You gotta be louder. It's very pretty. Like what? Pretty like your face. Like your face. So they said it's too dangerous to swim, but you can still get in the water. There's some lovers right there in the water. They love each other so much, they only brought one chair. So you can go out waist deep or so and cool off. It's called Escondida Beach, which means hidden beach. 
but obviously it's not hidden because people know the trail and come over here. But for a Sunday, which is normally when Puerto Ricans come to the beach with the family, it's, I mean, it's not crowded at all. No, and it's huge. You can just keep yes. walking if you want a little more privacy, I think. There is some shade. You can find some shade under some of the trees. But if you decide to have a long walk on the beach, I would say come early in the morning or late in the evening, afternoon, because it's hot <laughs> and it's sunny. Yeah, it is hot. I'm sweaty. That's why I'm showing the pretty lady, not my sweaty face. <laughs> oh, also, since we're having this huge argument, you have to have your relationship in good standing because everyone on the beach was super nice, but everyone we met on the trail was super grouchy. The first couple were arguing. each other. They were arguing. <laughs> Two people were arguing. One couple was. Like, this couple seems to have made it. They're mother, kissing each other in the water over there. A mother and a son that were not happy. Either. Yeah, they weren't talking to each other. We said hi to them, and they didn't. They just looked at us like we had three eyeballs. So you got to have a strong relationship to come here. Look at those waves. I know. They're huge over there. Is that a person over there? No, that's a buoy. Oh. And if it wasn't so hazy, there'd be mountain views back here. You can see oh, that's El Yunque. El Yunque is right yeah. there. You can barely see the outline of it. We'll come back on a nicer day. Yeah, we'll definitely be coming back here. Yes. We like it. Very much. Whenever we say we like it, that means we really like it. <laughs> I hope you had fun coming on our little adventure with us today. If you're planning to come to the Seven Seas area and beaches, I hope this might be helpful. You can stop at Seven Seas, grab a beer, a medalla, and some pastelitos or a whole fried fish, whatever your heart desires. They have a little chilinguito there, which is one of my favorite words and one of my favorite things on the planet. A chilinguito, by the way, is a beach bar if you're not fluent in the Espanol. Uh, but <laughs> this is Playa Escondito. Escondida. Escondida. And we really like this. We'll definitely be coming back here. Yeah. And another day where you can see El Yunque would really be nice. And Fajardo over there. And Fajardo in the distance back there. So thanks for coming along. If you did like this video and you enjoy tours of Caribbean beaches throughout Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, we did, we've done tours of beaches in Spain, all across Florida, hopefully to expand to farther reaches of the globe. Um, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And smash that like button if you did like this video. And we will see you in the next one. Thanks for coming along with us. Adios.